What's going on guys? Fisher Rachel here back once again. And this time we're gonna do yet another VHS update. This one being for April 8th, 2017. Which today I went to three Salvation Armies and a Habitat for Humanity. And I managed to score 28 tapes that I really liked. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so first tape First up, I got a Warner Home, Video, Warner Home Video Big W tape from 1985, and this one's a double tape. This is the 1985 VHS of Once Upon a Time in America with uh, Robert De Niro, James Woods, and Joe Pesci. Yeah. This is from the adult drama category. Here's the spine and the back. Sergio Leone's long-awaited epic of crime and betrayal. Yeah. And... Here's part one and part two. And part two's end label fell off, and it has a print date of January 16th, 1985. And yeah, part one is still the end label still intact. I might try taking out the end label on part one to see what the print down this one is. And this was a formal rental, but it does not say what video store it was from. Oh, very cool. And the last last clamshell I got is a MGM Diamond Jubilee Collection clamshell from 1985. May Time. Starring Jeanette McDonald and Nelson Eddy. Yeah. Here's the spine and the back. A Picture to Treasure says the New York Times. 1937 film renewed in 1964. So this will be replaced. This is I'm gonna I'm gonna donate my my hooray for Hollywood VHS copy of this film and keep this copy now since this version's a lot better. It does come with the the great diamond giveaway sweepstakes entry form, which is unfortunately all uh, ripped up and everything, but whatever. Here's the MGMUA home video look on the inside of the case. Sticker label, tan lid, and end label. Again, this is another for rental from another unknown video store. So, very cool. Okay. The next... The next four tapes I got are all in uh, cut boxes, and these are all, um, how do I want to put this? These are all educational, like, school-exclusive uh, VHS tapes. Um, the first three are from Celestinger uh, Media. This first one is from An the Animal Life and Action Collection. Animal classification. Yep, it's got the. All these have this uh, overnight book sticker. This book must be returned before the first class on the following school day. Although technically this is, although this is not, these are not books. These are VHS tapes, but for some reason they have that those stickers on them. Not sure why. There's the spine in the back. Grades five through eight. Teacher's Guide included and available online. Unfortunately, none of these come with the uh, Teacher's Guides, but that's alright. This tape is from 2000. Here's the sticker label, and... I think this says the 311th day of 2000. Yeah, I think that's what that says. This one is... Energy for Children, from the Energy for Children collection. What is what is energy? 
again, it has the overnight book sticker. Yeah, this is my first uh, Energy for Children. The one, this is the first one I have from the Energy for Children uh, collection. Side, back. Uh, grades K through four. Yeah, this is another 2000 tape. These were, these all, these were all for rentals from Northside School Library in Fairport, New York. Sticker label. This one was put on the 213th day of 2000. This, and the other, and last one is all about simple machines from the Physical Science for Children collection. Again, the overnight book sticker. Grades K through four once again. Yeah. This is a this is another 2000 tape sticker label. This one was printed on the 93rd day of 2000. And this other one I got is from some company called TMW Media Group. And, yeah. This one is Science in Action Lenses and Mirrors. Overnight Post sticker again. It's back. This is apparently volume two out of a six volume set. Yeah. No, it doesn't say what year this tape is from, unfortunately. Sticker label and no print date or we can your code or anything, unfortunately. So, yeah. Alright. Next one I got is Smithsonian Video Collection, the National Zoo, from Kodak Video Programs. Um, I believe this is my second Smithsonian Video Collection tape I have. I think think. Yeah, I think that's correct. There's the sides, the top, and the back. Sticker label and no printy, and the reels are oversized. Next one is Halloween, the Restored Collector's Edition, widescreen presentation, digitally mastered THX, which has this really, this really awesome 3D cover art. Look at that. How cool is that? How cool is that? Yeah, I, ha I had to get this just for this really cool, uh, really cool case. There's the sides, the top, and the back. And this is Halloween like you've never seen or heard before. And Halloween is presented widescreen 2.35-1. The original fiasco trailers, television spots, radio spots, and the feature at Halloween on Mass 2000 Produced and directed by Mark Serially, follow the film's conclusion. So, yeah. This is a 1999 VHS. Here's the ink label. This was printed on the 254th day of 1999. And it comes with a couple, in and it came with a couple inserts comes with this thing for like horror movie uh, merchandise look at take a look look at all look at this it's really it's really cool
and it even comes with this post uh, postcard thing. How cool is that? So, yeah, very, very cool to have this uh, release in my collection. Alright, up next, I got two Kid Songs tapes and both, uh, both Sony Wonder Kid Songs tapes. First one I got is the Sony Wonder copy of Kid Songs A Day at Camp. Yeah, someone named Karen Volless used to have this tape, but now it's mine. Yeah, here's the sides, here's the top and the back. I do, I do already have the uh, 1991 Viewmaster Video VHS, but this is the either 1997 or 1998 uh, Sony Wonder release. <laughs> Sticker label, no printing, and just like my copies of A Day on McDonald's Farm and I Can Do It, it has the Sony logo on the back of the tape. You can see that. Yeah. And this, and this other one was a kid's song that I did not have in my collection. And now I finally have a copy of this. This is Kid Songs I Can Dance. Yep, I finally got the I finally got Kid Songs I Can Dance in my collection. Again, again this again this was owned by Karen Volitz, but now it's mine. Yep, I finally have Kid Songs I Can Dance. I did not have this one yet, and now I do. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. And this is a 1998 VHS. So yeah. Sticker label, no printing, and again, just like A Day on McDonald's Farm, I can do it, and the A Day at Camp one I just showed you. So it's got the Sony logo on the back. So yeah, and this one does. This one, this one did not come with the uh, song booklet, but if you if you remember, um, hold on, let me just figure out. Where it is. This copy of Kid Songs of the Day with the Animals Nights Time 1 VHS, which I got back in July of last year. If you remember, it has the Kid Songs I Can Dance song booklet shoved inside it for some unknown reason. So, I can just add it to this copy now. There we go. So, so now, so now this uh, this booklet can finally now have a proper home, since I I now have an actual copy of Kid Songs I Can Dance. So there you go. It's just going to go right in there for now. And now, th and now this is just going to remain booklet-less. So yeah, very cool. That I now actually have an actual copy of I Can Dance as opposed to just a random uh, uh, song booklet. Anyway, hold on one second while I just put my Kiss Song Skips back in their proper position. Okay! So, yeah. Next one is a bootleg. Next one's a bootleg tape. Polly. Here's the sides. Here's the top and the back. Um, this isn't really a. This isn't a bootleg demo tape. It's actually. I think it's just. This appears to be the uh, case converted into a uh, slipcover. I. At least I think. 
This might be a bootleg demo tape, but I'm not 100% positive. Here's the fake sticker label, which, if you look closely, this label is actually photo copied from an HBO Home Video uh, tape label. The camera can focus on that. You can see right there it says HBO Home Video. So yeah, no printing and the recording tab has been broken off. I have not yet checked the opening or closing to this tape, so I have no idea what's at the opening or closing to this tape. So I'll have to check to see what's at the opening and closing to this tape, and then I will tell you in the description if it has anything at the beginning or at the end. So yeah. Alright, up next, I got two demo tapes. First one is the demo tape of Highlander The Final Dimension. Explosive box up this hit America's number one action adventure opening weekend. Exclusive director's cut. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. Pause the video if you want to read the information. Yeah. Here's the tape with the vertical sticker label. Print date is March 2nd, 1995. So this tape was printed on my birthday, even though I wasn't born for another uh, five years. And it's got the hologram sticker. And I just realized this, it has a crack right there, if you can see that. Come on, focus, camera. Yeah, it definitely has a crack right there. But hopefully this tape will still play just fine. Yeah, I didn't realize it had a crack until just now. But that's all right. Just still play fine. And I also got Mr. Holland's Opus demo tape. Yep, special sneak preview demo tape. Which I which I definitely know the uh, previews for this are at the be the preview for this is at the beginning of my demo VHS of Father of the Bride Part 2. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. Again, just pause if you want to read the information on here. So yeah. Here's the vertical sticker label. Print date is April 24th, 1996. So, um, so in a couple weeks, this table will be turning 21 years old, which is pretty cool. Up next is a Sony tape from 2005, The Cave. There, there are places man was never meant to go. Yeah, this one was in the shrink wrap when I got, but the bottom part was chopped off, and the shrink wrap did have a uh, Walmart sticker on it, actually. Here's the sides, top, and the back. Taking terror to a whole new depth. And... Yep, this is a Sony tape, as you can see right there. So, yeah. Ink label, blue lid, black reels. And print date is February 24th, 2006. So this is a reprint. Up next, I got an MGM Movie Time tape. Last House on the Left. Written and directed by the late Wes, Wes Craven, who was most who was most famous for doing the for directing the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, series. Here's the sides, here's the top, and the back. Three and a half stars, a powerful narrative of sheer unexpected terror stated by the late Roger Ebert. Yeah. And this is a and this is a classic horror movie from 1972. And this tape is from 2000. 
ink label. Print date is June 21st, 2000. Okay. Up next, this is really this is really cool. We've got four factory sealed Mickey Mouse Club VHS tapes. How cool is that? I got volumes two, volume three, volume four, and volume five. Even though I do already have uh, volume five, I just I just had to get I just had to get these since they're all uh, factory sealed. And I also have uh, volume one as well. So yeah, these are all factory sealed. And as you can see, they all they all do come with their uh, proof of purchase tabs, which is which is awesome. So yeah. So first one up is volume two featuring Spin and Marty. And all these have the same exact uh, thing on the bottom. Three shows from 1957 to 1958, released in original black and white. Sides, top, and the back. Yeah. So, let's get this out of the shrink wrap. Sticker label, October 27th, 1993, and if you look closely right here, it's got like some black printings behind the uh, print date information. I don't, you probably can't see that, but yeah, there's uh, there's some black uh, print dates, black printings behind the uh, print date info, so. This might actually be a recycled tape, which is really cool. And there's the hologram sticker that it comes with. And it does come with a business reply card from Disney. All right. Up next is volume three. Featuring Curiosity with Jiminy Cricket. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. Yep. Let's get this one out of the shrink wrap now. But this one I think might actually be... I think this one might actually be a reseal, because it's got like... Because this is all... Because this is all coming, coming off and... It's got that thing right there. Come on, focus camera. If you can see that. Yeah, it's got that thing. So this one might actually be a reseal, not actually factory sealed. Although these might I think these might these I think these all could possibly be resealed because none of them have the Walt Disney Home Video seal sticker on them. Unless that was normal for these releases, which I'm not really sure. But they have the proof of purchase tab still, so I have no idea. But anyway, let's get this one out of the shrink wrap. Here's the vertical sticker label. This is a la this is a layer printing from April 6, 1995, and once again, you probably can't see it, but it has these, like, black prints behind the print date information. And it's even got the barcode sticker on there. So yeah, this is, de so this is definitely a recycled tape, which is cool. And there's the hologram sticker on there. Oh, and it it also comes with another business reply card from this one being from Buena Vista home video.
terror, right? Here's volume four, featuring the Hardy Boys. The sides, top, and the back. Yep. And let's get this one out of the shrink wrap now. Virgo sticker label, March 22nd, Night's High 4. This one does not appear to be a recycle tape, unfortunately, but that's all right. And this one comes with a Walt Disney Home Video Business Reply Card. And volume 5 featuring mouse cartoons. Sides, top, and the back. So, yeah. And this one has a pink proof of purchase tab, unlike the other three, which have the standard white proof of purchase tabs. Alright, out comes this one out of the shrink wrap. Virgo sticker label, March 24th, Night Type 4, and again, this one is not a recycled tape. And here, and it comes with another Walt Disney Home Video Biz reply card. So, see, so yeah, I'm not sure why Vine 3 is the only one that has a, a Bruno Vista Home Video Biz reply card, as opposed to the other three, which have the Walt Disney Home Video Biz reply card. And I'm not sure why volumes 2 and 3 are the only two that are recycled. But, I, but not, compl not complaining. Still really cool to have these four tapes. And why don't this go back in? There, there we go. Okay. The next three tapes are from Good Times. This one is TV's Western Heroes. Two hours of action from over 40 shows. Hosted by Will Hudgens, star of TV's Sugarfoot. Fist fights, gun duels, TV commercials, bloopers, and more. It's got Lone Ranger, Annie Oakley, uh, Hoplon Cassidy, Wyatt Earp, Have Gun Will Travel, Cisco Kid, Rifleman, uh, Rawhide, and Maverick. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. So, yeah. Approximately two hours, color in black and white. Yeah. This is a nice high 3 VHS from Good Times, home video. Sticker label, no print date recording tab. We all know what this will have at the end. Next one is John Wayne Double Feature, consisting of The Dawn Rider and Lawless Frontier. Yeah, I also have another one of these John Wayne Double Features, which, come, which includes uh, The Man from Utah and Texas Terror. There's the sides, there's the top and the back. Uh, the Dawn Riders from, is a 1935 film, and Lost from Tears from 1935. So both of these are from 1935. And this is a 1989 VHS. Sticker label, no print date recording tab. We all know what this will have at the end. And the last good time save I got is... The Three Stooges Collection, Volume 1. Never before on video. Uncensored and uncut. Which ha This features Rumpus in the Harem, Scheming Schemers, and Loose Loot. Yeah. It's got somebody's address on there. 
I also have, well, sides, top, and the back. I also have volumes 2, 4, and 5 of the Three Stooges collection. I still need to get volume 3. This is a 1990 VHS. Sticker which has been taped by the original owner. But that's alright. No print date and recording tab. We all know what this has at the end. Alright. Up next I got another Three Stooges tape. This one being a Columbia TriStar Three Stooges tape. The Nighttime 3 VHS of Three Stooges Movie Maniacs. Also includes Dutiful But Dumb and Only to Bed and Only to Rise. This one is still sealed. Here's the sides, top, and the back. Uh, Dutiful But Dumb is from 1941. Movie Maniacs is from 1936. And Only to Bed, Only to Rise is from 1939. And if you can see right there, you can see that. It's got that little uh, brown uh, sticker on it. So this was a so this means this, this was a Columbia House copy. You can yeah you can tell this is a Columbia House copy because it's got that little orange or brown uh, sticker on it. Isn't that cool? I think so. All right, this is still sealed like I said. So we are gonna get out of the shrink wrap. Sticker label and printed in the uh, 50th week of 1997. And it's got, and it says CHC on there, so obviously that stands for Columbia House copy. So, yeah. Alright. Up next is a Paramount tape. The Nighttime 1 VHS of Barefoot in the Park with Robert Redford and Jane Fonda. This is this is a this is based on a play by Neil Simon. Sides, top, and the back. Yep. This is a 1967 film. Sticker Lale, this is a 1997 reprint. And this was printed in the sixth week of 1998. Up next is. Next one's a Warner Home videotape. The 1990 VHS of. N. Scene Paul Vare. The Man with the Most Original Mind in the U.S. Navy. Starring Robert Walker. Sorry about that, guys. The video got interrupted. Anyway, back to and sign Paul there. The Man with the Most Original Mind in the U.S. Navy. Starring Robert Walker, Burl Ives, Walter Matthau, Tommy Sands, Millie Perkins, and Kay Medford. Yeah. Oh, it actually says, The Man of the Most Original Mind in the U.S. Navy and the Greatest Collection of Pinups. So, yeah. This is kind of like, this is basically, this is kind of like a, a, um, a follow-up to Mr. Roberts. Side, Cheesy Shield, and this is from the comedy genre. Sides, top, and the back. Following in the hilarious fun steps of Mr. Roberts. Yeah, this is a 1964 film. And this is a 1990 tape. Sticker label and end label. Let me peel back the end label to see what the print date is. And if, see if there is a print date.
The print, the print date is October 3rd, 1990. Okay. And last but not least, our two, I got, I managed to get, score two MGMUA Vintage Classics VHS tapes. This first one is Some Like It Hot with Mary Monroe, Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon. Yeah, I actually decided to start collecting these uh, MGMUA Vintage Classics tapes. So that's why I got this. So that's why I got this one. So I'm actually going to donate my uh, Inglorious Black and White VHS copy of this film and keep this copy instead because I think this re I think this release is a lot better. Sides, top, and the back. Four stars. Legendary, sensational from start to finish. Says Leonard Maltin, and it contains the original theatrical trailer and. Pause the video if you want to read the facts from the vault. So yeah, it's a 1959 film, and this is a 1997 VHS. Ink label, reprint from May 1st, 2001. And the other M. Genuine Vintage Classic tape I got is Paths of Glory with Kirk Douglas. Yeah. This is a classic Stanley Kubrick film. Sides, top, and the back. Five stars. One of the greatest anti-war films ever made, says The Motion Picture Guide. And an unforgettable movie experience, says Newsweek. And... Something Like It Hot always also says one of the greatest of all film comedies is the motion picture guide. Yeah. This one also contains the original theatrical trailer. And pause the video if you want to read the facts from the vault. Again. Yeah. This is a 1957 film and another 1997 VHS. And this tape's co-produced by United Artists. And... Some Like It Hot is also co-produced by United Artists. Sticker label. July 21st, 1997. And this one did come with some inserts. It does come with the ad for the the Vintage Classics collection. Um, I do have the uh, MGMUA Vintage Classics VHSs of the Manchurian Candidate and Moby Dick. And I still have to get the MGM UA Vintage Classics VHSs of The Misfits, The Postman Always Rings Trice, and White Heat. And I do have the uh, MGM UA Vintage Classics VHSs of On the Beach, uh, Birdman of Alcatraz, and Twelve Angry Men. I do have to get the MGM UA Vintage Classics VHSs of Blackboard Jungle, The Barefoot Contessa, and what's that one? Dark Passage, and and yeah, I do also hope to get the M Genuine Vintage Classic Beaches of um, let's see, uh, Angels with Dirty Faces, Anna Karina, The Apartment, Bad Day at Black Rock, uh, To Have and Have Not, The Train. Uh, Winners for the Prosecution, The Woman in the Window, Woman of the Year, The Woman, Canada Hot Tin Roof, uh, The Defiant Ones, Dinner at Eight, The Fortune Cookie, Goodbye Mr. Chips, Grand Hotel, Hallelujah I'm a Bum, Inherit the Wind. Uh, I, I do have uh, 
the, the Vintage Classics VHS of Irma La Douche. I also have to get the uh, I Want to Live, Judgment at Nuremberg, Key Largo, Kiss Me Deadly. I do have Louis of the Field. I have to, also have to get uh, Little Caesar, The Maltese Falcon, and I do have Mrs. Miniver. I also, I also have to get uh, North by Northwest, Now Voyager, uh, Odds Against Tomorrow, A Patch of Blue, The Petrified Forest, Pocketful of Miracles, Prime Prejudice. Uh, I do have Run Silent Run Deep. I also have to get uh, Saratoga Trunk, Separate Tables, They Die With Their Boots On, and Thunder Road. So, yeah. And, yeah, I, that is all of them I just mentioned. Also comes with this thing for the Contemporary Classics Collection. I'll show you this. Very cool. And it even comes with the original receipt from when it was purchased. This was originally purchased at Saturday Matinee in Salmon Run Mall in Watertown, New York on March 18th, 1998 for $21.39. So, but I actually got this at the Salvation Army in Geneva, New York, so somehow this was purchased in Watertown and ended up at Geneva. Which is kind of, which is kinda of weird. But very cool. So I actually so actually I decided to get the I actually decided to start collecting the entire MGM Vintage Classics collection. So So yeah. So that was my update. So that was all that. And um, by the way, I just I just want to point out um, over the next uh, couple weeks, I'm going to a couple towns where there's a lot of really good uh, thrift stores. So expect possibly a couple. Uh, major mega updates coming sometime in the next couple weeks so yeah so that's it for this video and bye